We thank you for the Marcel of the Lord. Father, thank you. Your heart, your heart beat. How great I am. How glorious I am. We thank you.
we shall do valiantly. Victory.
something to share? Would you like to share now with us? Thank you. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. <coughs> As the rain comes down from heaven and waters the earth and bring forth the fruit of the earth, so I am pouring out my spirit upon you that you might be able to stand in these last and closing days and be filled with the water of life that I am pouring into your heart, that you might be able to go forth in the power of the resurrection that the Almighty Father has given me, that in me you also be raised for newness of life, that I may give you the strength that in these last and closing days the world may crumble around you, but fear not, for I am the Lord your God, and in me you find rest. And beside me there is no other. And I will give you all that is needed for life and godliness. I'll give you the strength by my word. And in my word you will be able to stand and speak that word forth that others may come to know and understand my love for them. And give their life over to me. That on the last day when I come, as I have poured out the water of life, that life may come into you, and the fruit of the Spirit may grow in you. And in the harvest time, that I send forth my angels, who gather my grain into my barn. And you will come to me, and in me you will find everything that you will be able to stand and walk in my presence, that in me all may know that in me you'll be able 
to go and bring forth that which has been lost. For I have given you the power through my word, that in my word you be able to speak, speak forth, and that others may hear it and may lay down life unto me, that in me they may be able to walk and come to me, that in me they may find eternal life. Jesus. Thank you. I just would like to share the Lord, Lord has given me a new life and given me strength in this last few years that I have been able to come to him and he called me by the power of his Holy Spirit and he gave me a new life and not only that, gave me a great life in him. Now so I want to thank the Lord that he given me a great wife for the last 45 years the Lord kept us going through sunshine or storm, no matter what was coming, he was with us. He was holding our hands and he was guarding us. And he is continuing to lead us and guiding us for the years to come. Don't know how long it will be, but if he comes today, we need to be ready for his coming and he calls us home. But in him we might be strengthened. And the Lord has given us our beautiful sons and the daughter. The birth of my year is in 1936. Three plus six is nine. That's 1936. And my wife, the Lord given her a great life, which is 1945, and her four and five makes nine. The Lord, through our marriage, has given us nine grandsons and continuing to bring us together. And He also given us. Our granddaughters, and I just thank the Lord that the power of His Holy Spirit is keeping this family together by the power of His Holy Spirit and giving us the strength to continue the work here for His coming. So He is coming probably very soon. I don't know when, but I know 
It won't be long. The world is darkening around us. But thank God he has given us his light. Yes. That his light may shine through us in yes. this darkening Amen. world. That God may come to know the eternal light and life of God through Jesus Christ, our Lord. I know not everyone on this earth gets married. And that's all right. It's just fun. There are those who do get married. And so often, married people don't value one another. And it's really a privilege to be able to love your husband or to love your wife. And Joseph's heart was very touched today. He was talking about the Lord. He gave glory to God. He gave glory to the Holy Spirit. We praise God with you. But he also honored his wife and shared his love for his wife. And how many husbands can do that? How many wives can do that? There's a lot of bickering and fighting and putting the spouse down and let's see who could put the other one down more and all that kind of really silly, unnecessary stuff. But it's kind of something that everybody can catch on to and pick up if they're not careful. And I believe that God is blessed that you honor your wife today. He likes that. That's what's in his word. He taught us to do that. Because he has such a high regard for marriage. Now remember, there are some that don't get married, and that's fine. I mean, God has a whole life for them without being married. But those who are married, I know it blesses his heart when the spouses honor one another and love one another. And so we want to bless them. Just if I get this wire right here in the sky. Move a little bit up here. Let's all just extend our hands out unto them, but also unto the Lord, because it's going to bless Him too. Lord, I just thank you for helping. Yes. I thank you for Brother Joseph. Yes. Sister Helen. I thank you, Lord, that you brought them together how many years ago? 45 years ago. Isn't that amazing? That's another miracle right here. A miracle. And was it all perfect, rosy, every day? Well, that's what a lot of people think it is, is. If you're married for 45 years, it must be a perfect marriage without any problems, right? No. It's the word in action. It's all through the word, isn't it? How to love one another as Jesus taught us to love. And what a wonderful opportunity to love in a marriage situation. So, Lord, I thank you for these two. Yeah. I thank you, Lord, that they have these grandchildren and these children and a, a family. How beautiful is that? I thank you for causing both of them to be yeah. able to enjoy one another even more fully in the days ahead. It's not all behind them. Let them look forward. Let them look to the now of a, a new love that will just flourish and grow yeah. in their lives. 45 years and going strong. Thank you. And this was a good place to, to have it grow even stronger with Joseph getting up here and talking like he did it in public. Yeah. Wow. Thank you, Jesus. I pray a rich blessing upon them both. Give them even new words that they can continue to grow in and yeah. how they can love one another. And speak that love to one another. I know you've taught us one. It's called, I love you. And I know wives like to hear that. So husbands, grow in that. So Joseph, may you be blessed to speak those words even more frequently to your wife. Yeah. I love you. I love you. I love you because it makes Jesus real happy when we love one another. In word, but not only in word. Yeah. But in deed. And I thank you, Father, that you'll be
rekindle their marriage vows, their, you help them to remember the good things you said to go those treasures old, treasures new, help them to collect yes. both the old and the new, that they may move forward in the days ahead with even more of a, a refired and uh, marriage, and even their children will be in awe. Yes. Like, what's with mom and dad here? You know, what's with grandpa and grandma, or whatever they call their call? That they will see something that they will remember. Yeah. That they'll be able to say, well, I remember how God brought my parents through hard places. Taught them how to lean on Jesus. And that will be a great tool in ministry to not only the children, but the grandchildren. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you both. Fear the Lord. And because of that, their names are written in your book of remembrance. They are jewels and treasures in your kingdom. I thank you that you planted them and made them strong. And in their latter days, they are going to be even more fruitful than in their younger days. We thank you, Father, for health yeah. and strength. Thank you for an even greater release of the word. I thank you, Father, that that jail shall just be hopping with the glory every time Helen walks in here, Father. Just thank you, Father, for the, ex the extension of your kingdom in that place. And I thank you, Father, for bringing Joseph even higher and higher in your presence, unveiling your word and even new treasures that he's never seen before, Father. So, though he's written in your treasure book, you have treasures to write in, in his book. <laughs> so, Lord, I thank you, Father, for extending their knowledge and their wisdom and anointing them to touch many souls for your kingdom. And yes. Ahead, Father. And I thank you for your glory resting upon their children and their grandchildren. 